this is a retro marquee and I've been working on a few projects at the moment and this particular project here that my hands waving at is a stepping stone to that because first I needed to figure out how to get a Raspberry Pi talking to another computer over a serial connection. Now I'm not an expert on Linux so it's been a bit of a learning curve but uh, I finally got there and thought it might be interesting just to make this uh, very quick video to please your eyeballs and your brain I suppose uh, I'm not sure where that sentence is going anyway so uh, ignore the modem uh, what we're going to need or what I need or needed or still need right now is the GoTech um, and the Pi here that's a Pi 3 but you could do this with any Raspberry Pi so inside of my Beeb I've got a piece of software on ROM called Termulator uh, and this is a termulator <laughs> emulator so it's in the name really first thing I'm going to do is go to setup and just restore my settings which is why the GoTech is handy so that means um, all these settings are loaded and it makes it a lot easier at the end of the day we're going to be using 9600 board uh, 8N1 which is pretty typical for most terminals not all but most We'll come back to that in a later video about the Minitel terminal. And uh, let's go to here, and we're going to use ANSI. Now what I need to do is I'm going to boot my Pi, like this. I don't know why these Pis don't have an on-off switch, but uh, yeah, they don't. Okay, so now that's done, what I'm going to do is go into, that's okay, the ANSI terminal. There you go, you can see the Raspberry Pi login. And there we have it, Linux Raspberry Pi 6.1. I'll do an ls command. Oops. Go into just a random folder. That's not perfect. Some of the characters, as you can see, are not exactly coming across very well. Uh, I wouldn't say you could particularly use this as a Linux machine. I'm just going to check something. Why is it mangling like that? Let us try classic TTY terminal, see if that makes it any better. Okay, that's kind of a bit neater and tidier, but there's still some characters that are messed up. But at the end of the day, this is a BBC Micro, not really designed to be used uh, as a Linux terminal back in 1983. But anyway, it is what it is. So what we can do is Telnet now to my favourite new BBS I highly recommend so the nice thing about this is you don't actually need a modem for your beep I do have a modem here um, but uh, you don't need one now and uh, we are going to go into I think the ASCII one probably works better Yeah, it's a little bit messed up again over here, but um, at the bottom, but it still works. Go to BBC News, because that's impartial. <coughs> oh, excuse me, that's sounding in my throat. There we go, there's the latest news on Russell Brand on the 17th of September. Um, for the record, I, uh, yeah, this story, I think they're... I'm not going to get into politics. So there we go. That's uh, part of a bigger project I thought would be interesting just to show you. Uh, now you can get on with your day. So uh, I'll just say uh, Retro Marquee out.